Greetings, greetings on this wonderful day, December 4th, 2022. Here is the Mavic 3, of which I've had for since its release. And the new thing that has added some great deal taking advantage of the many features of the Mavic 3 is this DJI RC Pro. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to say that this controller is really quite puts you up in the ability to be able to control this thing on a professional level. It comes, you can have the basic controller, which I was using for a while, and I also was using it with a larger screen, which worked great. However, when DJI put the update out for the cruise control, I found out that I could not actually put and take advantage of that feature. There was just not enough customization to the buttons to be able to do so. At least that's what I found out. So with this controller, I actually have more buttons from which to be able to customize in order to take advantage of the cruise control of the Mavic 3, of which you'll see in these videos. And that is exceptional. To be able to put, and this is what the I believe the Air 2S used to have, not mistaken, sorry if I got the model wrong, but I've long since sold it a while ago, so it's a little distant in my mind. But there used to be a like a tripod mode where you can do it, and I believe it used to have a cruise mode. I could be mistaken about that, but it's certainly a feature which I have been desiring for a long time in my more serious uh, drones like the Mavic 3. Since I use this for my business, uh, having any automation <coughs> usually works against the workflow which I perform these kind of circle shots and these scenery shots. However, having the ability to be able to just have set it on an orbit, push a button and keep that same speed of where, where you're headed and then being able to control it with these sticks while at that set speed at that set direction you can change with your sticks and this is what we're seeing in the overlay of the video here and this is what exactly I'm doing I have it in cruise control and yet you're able to articulate and move the camera and the orientation of the Mavic 3 based on where you want it to look while keeping up that maintaining that speed at a decent uh, whatever rate in which you set it so once you've set your sticks at the forward or even side to side uh, rate, you just simply engage the cruise control and it will maintain that even speed regardless of the environment around it. And that's what's really, really amazing about that feature. And this cruise control allows you to be able to zoom with the wheels here. The basic controller doesn't have but one wheel. And be able to change uh, the angle of the camera while you are controlling the drone and actually working these three controls together at once getting the exact effect that you're looking for all the while on cruise control the drone is moving evenly set at, at an even rate which really really helps and I did some experimenting shots as you'll see uh, around the school and the uh, solar panels on top and just as a frame of reference so I'm really excited to go out and be able to put these features to use in my business. And just out here, and this is what you really should do, is on a new feature or a new controller like I uh, acquired, this is not a new controller, but it's a new acquisition of mine, to be able to get the motions down and to get uh, the features all second nature. So when you're out on doing that job for that customer, all that is just muscle memory. And so that's what you that's what I'm doing out here. And I hope you enjoy the video or what you see there. I'm completely blown away by this and just uh, the kind of firmware that's coming out on these more professional drones, the Mavic 3. I do have the uh, Inspire 2. However, most of the jobs that I've been doing I've been able to do quite easily with the Mavic 3. And adding this motion at uh, this RC controller with uh, being able to control three or four different things at once in this pro controller uh, is a definite win in my book 
and then the ease of control of which to be able to do so as well, not jerky or, you know, kind of stuttery as well, really speaks to the quality of this control. And like I say, this is all at stock settings and everything. I haven't changed any expo or anything like that. And be able to do so and then have the buttons in which to simply uh, push without having to take your hands off the controls is also very convenient. So, should you get something like this? I would say that if you're in the line of work or uh, when you're doing this as a business and everything, this is going to make the job a whole lot easier. And being able to take advantage of uh, the cruise control or other features in which uh, future firmwares are coming out, to be able to assign a custom button because the original control has limitations of what buttons you can customize. And that's just not something that it was just a no-brainer for me to be able, the need for this, to be able to custom, have the options of customizing more buttons. Works better with my workflow. And so this, uh, I highly recommend for that, uh, for such circumstances. So, uh, like I say, I highly recommend the RC controller with the uh, Mavic 3. I see no reason to go and get or uh, have the Mavic 3 Classic. This has a zoom lens which I can take advantage of and add just that little bit more element to your subject to be able to zoom while you are doing an orbit and then being able to pull out. So a lot of the owners I've heard necessarily didn't like the zoom but just really didn't use it a lot. But being able to use it in a dynamic range while you're in motion as well as uh, center, uh, you know, getting that shot with the proper gimbal tilt and all while you're panning out to reveal a shot, that's that's really a great option there. So I'm really uh, digging the, uh, the zoom uh, function of the Mavic 3. And being able to do so with the Mavic 3, uh, excuse me, with the RC controller is just exceptional. So shout out to DJI for that. Uh, I know this is not a necessarily new controller, but it's an OcuSync 3. The control link on it is solid. And uh, I can only speak uh, good, good raves about it for my uh, initial use of it. So have a good day on this as the year draws to an end, 2022. It's all about just adding another tool to your toolbox to be able to do my jobs easier. Adieu, I'll fly safe and have a wonderful time.